we've cut a lot of part uh, of camera for almost a day. <laughs> uh, so we came up with uh, that beam that will be the base of the uh, frame that will be hooked onto the side of the tractor. I'll show you later what is the uh, massive system for a uh, quick hitch. Uh, from that we're going to use those plates that will go here to make the pin attachment. Those plates to uh, uh, keep it, uh, to have it stronger. At that point we're going to link to those uh, Pivot point with those two tubes. It's going to reach to a uh, 5 8 of an inch thick plate. And we're going to link a plate here and here. We're going to have the bushings that will go into those tubes and also the bushing that will be weld against this one. And that's the pin here we have. Stay. <laughs> We're going to weld this tab on the top and we can bolt this so the uh, pin will stay uh, fixed to the uh, plow. Then we have those pins that will serve as the uh, top part of the quick attach. This is all the bushings we'll need also for those plates to extend the holes and have the uh, reinforcement. And that's pretty much it, eh? Very good. Good. That's well. What happened is that we have a side to put the plate and I put that on the wrong side. <laughs> so we uh, remove that plate, put that on the other side and voila! Nice! So I'm glad it works perfectly. Good stuff.
Okay, at this point we level the uh, plow on one side and the uh, frame on the other side so they are both parallel. We've hooked with the pin the base of this frame. Now the next step is with that 2x2 two two that goes from one side to the other to make that same kind of link up there to that plate. So that's the uh, next thing to, uh, to do. After a few measurements, we put that same 2x2 two square tube at the top here with the uh, plate for the pivot point at the top. We took measurement for, let's say, what, half an hour? <laughs> uh, we have to make sure that the uh, pivot and all that stuff is very straight for, from one side to the other. And yet the table is not perfectly flat too and we're reaching from one side to the table to the other side and that makes the uh, the wall process a little bit more complicated. That's pretty much the result for now. Uh, we have those uh, blocks just to maintain that level. But now we can pipe up like this on the other side. We uh, almost reach 30 de degrees. We're going to uh, cut this 45 degrees and uh, we're going to reach the full uh, swing of the uh, plow. This. Good. Uh, next thing that we have to do is to put a link in between those two uh, arms because when putting downward pressure, this one is going to take the wall uh, pressure and if we don't have any kind of uh, support, it's going to rely only on that small 2x2 uh, two two tube in. By the way, this one is uh, 1 eighth of an inch, those one. This one is, uh, this one is 3 16 and this one is a quarter of an inch thick. So this one takes the wall push and this one is just to keep the balance. But going with the pressure down, uh, this one has to rely on this plate to apply the pressure. So that's why we're going to put a link in between. And basically we're going to put a square piece of a tube here mm -hmm. for the match it. Okay at this point we have to fix two cylinders. Uh, there's one uh, that will go this way they will reach for the sides of the, uh, the plow. Uh, they'll get together at this point, three inches uh, apart. On this side, they will go on the tubing that we'll see later. So now we are up to make that bracket. So off camera, because the uh, memory card was full, we did the bracket. So here comes the bracket which is a pocket on each side. There will be a hole going there and there for each cylinder and it will support the cylinder like this. So, is that nice piece? Wow! <laughs> uh, it's going to be strong. Oh yes, yeah. it won't bend. Okay, so we need to uh, punch holes, drill holes on the, both sides on the milling and we'll be able to uh, weld this on this tube. So that's the part itself. So that's one piece of the uh, angle iron, 3 by 3 by 3 8 And same on the other side, being welded here. A small gusset plate, quarter of an inch. And the two holes, 3 quarter of an inch through. Uh, it's going like this. There's still oil on it. <laughs>
Now we've got the right setup to have the uh, full extent of that cylinder on one side and the other. Uh, we've put some uh, shims that would be welded here. This one is only a shim. And uh, this is temporary setup. So extending like this. Like this. And retracting on the other side. Like so. That that's the end of the stroke. Now this is the setup we came up with, the two tabs with the hole and the uh, two by two. Um, we're going to tack weld this and see where, what it does. Now that's a very good sign the bolt still fit in and by the way this is a bolt for the the time being but it's uh, going to be a pin a three quarter of an inch pin okay Off camera, we did those two parts that are going to uh, hook with the cylinder. We have uh, those pins we made out of a uh, three quarter of an inch diameter round stock. We put a hole so that we can pin that into position. We put also a hole with a thread so that we can thread a zerk. And you will see later why we don't uh, put the zerk now. Uh, it's pretty much tight. So, and the zerk connects with those two holes. So it goes like this. And by the way, this is a three quarter of an inch pin into a three quarter of an inch bushing. So that's why it's pretty much tight. Like so. We have the pin, it goes like so. Yeah. Like this. And we have the zerk on the top and the greasing holes on the sides. So we're going to weld that into position like so here and this one on the other side and this one will hook here so what about the zerk so as you can see that's a small miscalculation from my side you can see the pen is quite tight to be able to fit here so if we keep the zerk it will not fit Okay, we tack welded this, uh, this side, the other side too, so they both move uh, easily. Now that's the air pressure inside.
Tastes good. Off camera, we added this tube in between, so it extends the other tube. It's a one and a half by one and a half, which match this one on this side. And we also had a um, small tab here to put a bumper. I show you that. So that's the bumper itself. This side is a steel plate. This side too. And there's one bolt here. And so the idea for that is this. So it will uh, absorb the chuck. For the next part, this is pretty much what we uh, will need. The things, um, 12 volt, uh, 6 way valve. Okay, the two hoses that were going to the curl cylinder are going to the side of the valve. 